That is crazy. Sources claim that China has launched a 23-ton research facility, making it the largest space station ever authorized. There will be two operational space stations by 2022. The Chinese Tiangong Space Station, which has been operational since June 20, is also ostensibly the most sophisticated space station. The International Space Station has been manned since 2000. In a 10-year period, China's space station is planned to perform over a thousand experiments, some of which will seek to replicate the results of the International Space Station. Will China become a superpower as a result of its self-sufficiency? How does China's investment in space affect us? Today's topic will be China's recently constructed space station and its potential effects on the so-called superpowers. Therefore, let's begin. People claim that the U.S. administration would review its 2011 decision as soon as China's space station is operational. Chinese astronauts were first barred from the International Space Station by the U.S. government in 2011, and now take a look at the issue. There are several guiding principles for space exploration since American space history is regarded as one of the most significant. One of them claims that it should involve international cooperation between nations and scientists. The Chinese astronauts were suddenly prohibited from using the International Space Station by the American administration. China was forced to choose between the United States and the International Space Station, which had surrounded it. Nobody offered to assist. As a result, China had a hurdle in coming up with a revolutionary idea that led to its success. It created its own space station from the ground up. According to sources in the New York Times, China recently unveiled the final module of its space station, marking the culmination of its efforts to at least equal or surpass the United States in the field of space research. Additionally, this movie will extensively examine China's abominable efforts to construct its own space station, and as a result, will also demonstrate China's role in the development of space. For the past 70 years, the United States has held the reins of power. What did it do, though? It did little more than command, rule, and direct a worldwide endeavor to construct the International Space Station. But there is a melancholy aspect. According to sources, the International Space Station's mission is about to expire. According to reports, its life cycle will finish in 2031, and it will be decommissioned and deorbited. You might be asking why space exploration is so vital after reading all of this, though. Don't you believe there are enough issues to deal with already? So why are we so drawn to space? We require space in our daily lives, thus the answer to that is yes. The correct operation of the GPs, weather forecasts, solar cells, and many other things are made possible by the space program. Space exploration has greatly facilitated our way of life. Right now, everyone wants to be at the top. And with that, China seized the chance to control the future of space. What a wonderful concept! Furthermore, none of this would be feasible without President Xi Jinping. The nation has intensified its space desire. The president intends to develop a facility on the moon, in addition to building his own space station. Whoa! He is exerting a lot of effort. By 2030, it is planned to deploy astronauts to the moon's surface. Tiangong, which is Chinese for heavenly place, is the name given to China's space station. China will now have its own space station. China will now have its own space station, making it the only nation in the world to have one. Rome was not constructed in a day, either. This space station is the product of countless hours of labor. Let's now concentrate on the larger narrative at hand. The issue is that we need to pay attention to how America and China both see international cooperation differently. China would never have developed its own space station if the U.S. hadn't surrounded it. It had to. It had to. When the nation expressed a keen interest in taking part in the International Space Station, this situation continued for more than two decades. However, Republican Frank Wolf introduced a law in 2011 that is now known as the Wolf Amendment Bill every time the U.S. government opposed one of its projects. Despite the fact that everyone is aware that the International Space Station is a global project involving many different nations, the bill's provisions forbid Nasser from collaborating with China in any aspect of space development. The United States singled out China and declared that China could not access their space station. I find that a little disrespectful, don't you? The administration interpreted this as a rigid position when asked to explain why the nation took such a measure. The U.S. administration defended its decision to prohibit China by claiming that it did so out of respect for human rights and national security. However, this is not the first instance in which the United States has used human rights as a tool to isolate a nation. 
Just explain to me, however, how excluding China from the International Space Station can improve human rights. The United States seeks to cooperate with other knowledgeable scientists from across the globe who can distinguish between their work and political dispute. American astronauts should also be prohibited from accessing the International Space Station if a nation's human rights record is the criterion. Now, though, though, let's contrast Beijing's attitude toward international collaboration with America's approach to controlling China. We believe it makes perfect sense that China has stopped participating in international space collaboration. China was obliged to start again after being expelled from the International Space Station. But unlike the United States, China has stated that it would welcome foreign cooperation. There is no question that China has become so self-sufficient that the entire world depends on it. The nation followed a similar strategy, increasing its exports of inexpensive goods. China will see tremendous growth as more nations look to it for guidance on international space cooperation. Since 2015, any time the subject of American cooperation with China is brought up, they instantly turned it off. According to a ministry representative in Beijing, China's government has consistently supported the peaceful use of space. Sadly, this is the current obsession among American politicians who are more concerned with keeping China in check than with building up their own country, when it might have been a support system to assist China evolve as a moderate and progressive nation. The U.S. government has done all in its ability to impede China's advancement. What the previous President Trump came up with will astound you. He started a trade war with China in an effort to overthrow Huawei, the leader in 5 bag technology worldwide. After Biden was elected, China's circumstances deteriorated. He imposed the harshest penalties on China, denying it all access to the most cutting-edge microchips available. Wow, very cruel. The major lesson I want people to take away from this is that when you try to restrict and corner someone, their only choice is to adapt and survive. The U.S. government made itself weaker by doing this while simultaneously making China stronger. They inadvertently compelled China to develop its intellect and speed. Additionally, it made them try harder to close such gaps, along with the belief that the International Space Station would soon run out of money in 2024. This is one of the finest characteristics of the Chinese people. Fortunately, NASA is working hard to extend the life of the International Space Station thanks to China's space initiatives. In essence, it might be deactivated in the upcoming 18 months. However, NASA recently told the Financial Times that they had given the go-ahead for the International Space Station to continue operations through the end of 2028. However, when contrasting the two space stations, it becomes clear that China's station is significantly more advanced than the International Space Station. The latter is somewhat disorganized and antiquated. China is again on the heavier side in this instance. China now has the authority to decide which nations it can and cannot work with. A power that the US once held, we have now reached the very end of this video. You cannot stifle talent, that much is clear. Nothing bad came from US cornering. Instead, it inspired the nation to accomplish something more significant. The only issue that could arise is if China uses its space expertise to solve a bigger issue, anything besides the epidemic. Do you think American astronauts will ever be stationed in China's Tiangong space station? Will China be kind enough to consent to it? Will it put everything behind it and work to keep things cordial with the U.S.?